व्यूअर्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम आई प्लेड जावेद अली सेल रो फ्रंट ऑफ यू कैन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू चैट यू अबाउट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ पाकिस्तान 1973 एंड टुडेस टॉपिक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो डोंट मिस इट डोंट मिस इट डोंट मिस इट जस्ट वॉच एंड लिसन अबाउट द टुडेस टॉपिक टुडेस द बेस्ट टॉपिक ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ पाकिस्तान 1973 topic uh, is namely fundamental rights fundamental rights of persons of public so what are the fundamental rights of every citizen of our country pakistan uh, i today uh, mentioned you uh, all the rights of uh, citizen of pakistan uh, they are called fundamental rights and fundamental rights i discussed previously Uh, that uh, in a part 2 there are uh, the principles of policy and after all the fundamental rights of the public principles of policy has been completed i already discussed i already deliver about the principles of policy and today's uh, delivery about very best and important knowledge of constitution about the fundamental rights of every citizen of pakistan in the constitution of pakistan 1973 and uh, once more time i would like to discuss that authentic knowledge i would like to provide you uh, authentic knowledge is coming from the textbook and uh, through the textbook i would like to read out and just uh, uh, deposited before you that you may understand because these are not my own words these uh, words coming from the constitution of pakistan 1973 so let's come and enjoy Uh, don't feel irritated just be easy and be just uh, open your mind to uh, uh, listen about the uh, fundamental rights of uh, public in pakistan about as per the constitution of pakistan 1973 possess all we possess all the rights uh, which i am going to discuss uh, in front of you dears and viewers so let's come chapter 1 uh, this is part 2 and chapter 1 in chapter 1 there are fundamental rights fundamental rights start from article 8 to article 28 of the constitution of pakistan 1973 now which are they let's come let's move number 1 chapter number 1 fundamental rights article 8 laws inconsistent with are in derogation of fundamental rights to be void what is this article 8 sub article 1 any law or any custom or usage having the force of law in so far as it is inconsistent with the rights confirmed by this chapter shall he has written shall to the extent of such inconsistency be void article 8 sub article 2 the state shall not make any law which takes away or abridges the rights so conferred and any law made in contravention of this clause shall to the extent of such contravention to be void and article 8 sub article 3 the provisions of this article shall not apply to class a any law relating to the members of the armed forces any law member of the armed forces these provisions are not related to these uh, uh, which is mentioned in the class a any law relating to the members of the armed forces or of the police or of such other forces is are charged with the maintenance of public order for the purpose of ensuring the proper discharge of their duties or the maintenance of discipline among them or class b any of the sub class 1 law specified in the first schedule is in force immediately before the commencing day or is amended by any of the laws specified in that schedule sub class 2 other laws specified in part 1 of the first schedule 
एंड नो सच लॉ नार एनी प्रोवियंस दे फोर शेल बी वर्ड ऑन द ग्राउंड दैट सच लॉ आर प्रोवियंस इज इनकन्सिस्टेंट विद आर रिपगनेंट टू एनी प्रोवियंस ऑफ दिस चैप्टर सब क्लास फोर नॉट विद स्टैंडिंग एनी थिंग कंटेंट इन पैराग्राफ बी ऑफ क्लास थ्री within a period of 2 years from the commencing day the appropriate legislature shall bring the laws specified in part 2 of the first schedule into conformity with the rights conferred by this chapter uh, sub class 5 the rights conferred by this chapter shall not be suspended except as expressly provided by the constitution a uh, very nice very important this is also the fundamental right uh, in article 8 uh, for the public and uh, this is mentioned about the definition uh, that what is written there uh, and what is article 8 uh, all i have read it before you and authentical because word to word knowledge i would like to provide you from the constitution uh, book of pakistan 1973 i discussed previously that constitution is our country and our country is constitution every independent country is like a so so let's move to article 9 article 9 is very nice security of person security of person this is article 9 no person shall be deprived of life of liberty save in accordance with the law this is article 9 security of the person and article 10 safeguards is to arrest and detention there is a safeguard this is present in the constitution of pakistan 1973 according to article 10 there are there is safeguard according to uh, arrest and detention of the person what is this uh, article 10 sub article 1 no person who is arrested shall be detained in custody without being informed okay as soon as may be of the grounds for such arrest nor shall he be denied the right to consult and be defended by a legal practitioner of his choice article 10 sub article 2 every person who is arrested and detained in custody shall be produced before a magistrate within a period of 24 hours within a period of 24 hours of such arrest excluding the time necessary for the journey from the place of arrest to the court of the nearest magistrate and no such person shall be detained in custody beyond the said period without the authority of a magistrate this is very fantastic safeguard and arrest and detention this is present in the constitution of pakistan article 10 that there is a constitution words that no person shall be detained in the custody and uh, they should have to the person should have to produce before the nearest magistrate within 24 hours although they are written about the uh, uh, journey that for the journey how much the journey but the nearest magistrate uh, arrival should be within 24 hours this is about the uh, uh, detention and arrest in article 10 of constitution of pakistan very nice and article 10 sub article 3 nothing in class 1 and 2 shall apply to any person who is arrested or detained under any law providing for prevention detention article 10 sub article 4 no law providing for preventive detention shall be made except to deal with person acting in a member prejud pre pre in a manner prejudicial to the integrity security or defense of pakistan or any part thereof or external affairs of pakistan or public order are the maintenance of supplies of service and no such law shall authorize the detention of a person for period exceeding 3 months unless the appropriate review board has after affording affording him an opportunity of being heard in person reviewed his case and reported before the expiration of the said period the that there is in its opinion sufficient cause for such detention and if the detention is continued after the said period of 3 months unless the appropriate review board has reviewed his case and 
reported before the expiration of such period of three months that there is in its opinion sufficient cause for such detention now there is uh, uh, this uh, was uh, about the article 10 of constitution of pakistan 1973 and still continue uh, about uh, article 10 sub article 5 when any pers- when any person is detained in pursuance of an order made under any law providing for preventing detention the authority making the order shall within 15 days fa- from such detention communication to such person the ground on which the order has been made and shall afford him the earliest opportunity of making an uh, representation against the order provided provided that the authority making any such order and may refuse to disclose facts which such authority considers it to be against the public interest of disclose article 10 sub article 6 the authority making the order shall finish to the appropriate review board all documents relevant to the case unless a certificate signed by a secretary secretary to the government concerned to the effect that it is not in the public interest to finish any document is produced article 10 sub article 7 within a period of 24 months commencing on law providing the day of the first detention in presence of an order made under a detention no person shall be made, shall be detained in presence of any such order for a total period of 8 months in the case of a person detained in for acting in a manner prejudicial to public order and 12 months in any other case provided that this clause shall not apply to any person who is employed by or works for or acts on instruction rela- received from the enemy or who is acting or attempting to act in a manner prejudicial to the integrity security or defense of pakistan or any part thereof or who commit or attempts to commit any act which amounts to an anti national activity is defined in a federal law or is a member of any association which has for its object or which indulge Uh, in any such anti national activity article 10 sub article 8 the appropriate review board shall determine the place of detention of the person detained and fix a reasonable substance allowance for his family article 10 sub article 9 nothing in this article shall apply to any person who for the time being in an enmity in an enemy allen Article 10A, which is very important. Article 10A, uh, right to fair trial. Article 10A, right to fair trial. What is this? For the determination of his uh, civil rights and obligations, or in any criminal charge against him, a person shall be entitled to a fair trial and due process. This is about all. this is about all persons of pakistan in article 10a right of fair trial you possess all i possess also and article 11 slavery forced labor etc prohibited article 11 sub article 1 slavery is non existent and forbidden and no law shall permit or facilitated its introduction into pakistan in any form Article 11 sub article 2 all forms of forced labor and traffic in human being are prohibited Article 11 sub article 3 no child below the age of 14 years shall be engaged in any factory or mine or any other ha- or any other hazardous employment this is important this is very important in article 10 sub article uh, 3 no child shall be engaged in any any forced labor company uh, without horizontal employment article 11 sub article 4 nothing in this article shall be deemed to affect compulsory services clause a by any person undergoing punishment for an offense against any law or clause b 
required by any law for public purpose provided that no compulsory service shall be of a cruel nature or incompatible with the human dignity article 12 protection against retrospective punishment this is double punishment retrospective punishment article 12 sub article 1 no law shall authorize the punishment of a person a class for an act or omission that was not punishable by law at the time of the act or omission or class b for an offense by a penalty greater than or of kind different from the penalty prescribed by law for that offense at the time the offense was committed class article 12 class 2 nothing in class 1 or in article 270 shall apply to any law making act of abrogation or subversion of constitution in force in pakistan at any time since the 23rd day of march 1956 in offense article 13 protection against double punishment and self incrimination jeopardy this is jeopardy i say jeopardy of course this is jeopardy article 13 class a shall be prosecuted or punished for the same offense more than once or class b shall when accused of an offense be compelled to be a witness against himself article 14 inviolability of dignity of man etc article 14 class 1 the dignity of man and subject to law the privacy of home shall be inviolable class 2 no person shall be subjected to torture for the purpose of extracting evidence article 15 freedom of movement etc freedom of movement is very important every citizen shall have the right to remain in and subject to any reasonable restrictions imposed by law in the public interest enter and move freely enter and move freely reasonable restrictions imposed by law in the interest of public order uh, article number 16 freedom of assembly the 15 article was the freedom of uh, movement and article number 16 freedom of assembly every citizen shall have the right to assemble uh, peaceful and without arms subject to any reasonable restriction imposed by law in the interest of public order article 17 freedom of association freedom of association these three articles are very important article 15 16 and 17 uh, article 15 said about freedom of movement article 16 said about freedom of assembly and article 17 uh, says about freedom of uh, association now let's move uh, article 17 sub article 1 every citizen shall have the right to form association or union subject to any reasonable restrictions imposed by law in the interest of sovereignty or integrity of pakistan public order or morality sub class 2 every citizen not being in the service of pakistan shall have the right to form or be a member of a political party subject to any reasonable restrictions imposed by law in the interest of the sovereignty or integrity of pakistan and such law shall provide the such law shall provide that where the federal government declares that any political party has been formed or is operating in a manner prejudicial to the sovereignty or integrity of pakistan the federal government shall within 15 days of such declaration refer the matter to the supreme court whose decision on such reference shall be final sub article 3 every political party shall account for the source of its funds in accordance with the law article 18 freedom of trade business or profession subject to such qualification if any subject to such qualification if any is may be prescribed by law every citizen shall have the right to enter upon any lawful profession on occupation and to conduct any lawful trade or business 
provided that nothing in this article shall prevent class a the regulation of any trade or profession by a licensing system or class b the regulation of trade commerce or industry in the interest of free competition there in or class c the carrying on by the federal government or a provincial government or by a corporation controlled by any such government of any trade business industry or service to the exclusion complete or partial of other person article 19 freedom of speech etc every citizen shall have the right to freedom of speech and expression and there shall be freedom of the press subject to any reasonable restrictions imposed by law in the interest of the gallery of islam or the integrity security or defense of pakistan or any part thereof friendly relations with foreign states public orders decency or morality are in relation to competent of court commission of or incitement to an offense article 19 a this is amendment right to information every citizen shall have the right to have access uh, to information in all matters of public importance subject to regulation and reasonable restrictions imposed by law article 20 freedom to profess religion and to manage religious institutions subject to law public order or morality class a every citizen shall have the right to profess practice and propagate his religion and class b every religion uh, denomination and every sect thereof shall have the right to establish maintain and manage its religion institutions article 21 safeguard and against taxation for purpose of any particular religion no person shall have compelled to any no person shall have to compel to pay any special tax the proceeds of which are to be spent on the par- propagation or maintenance of any religion other than his own article 22 safeguard is to educational institutions in respect of religion it is very important article number 22 sub article 1 no person attending any educational institution shall be required to receive religion instructions or take part in any religious ceremony or attend religion religions worship if such instructions ceremony or worship relates to a religion other than his own sub article 2 in respect of any religious institutions there shall be no dis- discrimination against any community in the granting of exception or concession in relation to taxation wow sub article 3 subject to law class a no religious community or denominations shall be prevented from providing religious instructions for pupils of that community or denominations in any educational institutions maintained wholly by the community or denominations and class b no citizen shall be denied admissions to any educational institutions receiving aid from public revenue on the ground only of race religion caste or place of birth आर्टिकल जो सब क्लास नंबर फोर नथिंग इन दिस आर्टिकल शेल प्रिवेंट एनी पब्लिक अथॉरिटी फ्रॉम मैकिंग प्रोविजंस फॉर द एडवांसमेंट ऑफ एनी स्पेशली एनी सोसाइटी आर एजुकेशनली बैकवर्ड क्लास ऑफ सिटीजन आर्टिकल नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री प्रोविजंस एस्ड प्रॉपर्टी Every citizen shall have the right to acquire hold and dispose of property in any part of Pakistan subject to the constitution and any reasonable restrictions imposed by law in the public interest. Article 24 Protection of property rights class 1 Subarticle one: No person shall be compulsory deprived of his property save in accordance with law. sub class uh, sub article 2 no property shall be compulsorily acquired or taken possession of say for the public purpose 
एंड सेव बाय द अथॉरिटी ऑफ लॉ व्हिच प्रोवाइड्स फॉर कंपनसेशन देयर ऑफ एंड आइदर फिक्स द अमाउंट ऑफ कंपनसेशन और स्पेसिफाइज द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑन एंड द मैनर इन व्हिच कंपनसेशन इज टू बी डिटरमाइंड एंड गिवन सब क्लास सब आर्टिकल 3 Nothing in this article shall affect the validity of class A. Any law permitted, any law permitted the compulsory acquisition or taking possession of any property for preventing danger to life, property or public health. Or class B, any law permitting the taking uh, over of any property which has been acquired by or come into the possession of. any person any person by any unfair means or in any manner contrary to law or class c any law relating to the acquisition administration uh, or disposal of any property which is or is deemed to be enemy property or evacu property under any law not being property which has ceased to be evict uh, property under any law or class d any law providing for the taking of uh, taking over the management of the property by the state for a limited period either the public interest or in order to secure the proper proper management of the property or for the benefit of its owner or class c class d after d class e any law providing for the acquisition of any class of property for the purpose of sub class 1 providing education and medical aid to all or any specified class of citizens or cl- sub class 2 providing housing and public facilities and services such as roads water supply sewerage gas and electric power to all or any specified class of citizen or sub class 3 providing maintenance to those who on account of unemployment sickness infirmity or old age are unable to maintain themselves or subclass f any excluding law or any law made in presence of article 253 subclass 4 the adequacy or otherwise of any compensation provided for by any such law is is referred to in this article or provided determined in presence thereof shall not be called in question in any court article 25 which is very important bulk although all articles are very important but 25 kindly listen it test uh, test of the uh, 25 article what is 25 article equality of citizens article 25 sub article 1 all citizens are equal before law and are entitled to equal protection of law this is about all citizen sub article 2 there shall be no discrimination on the basis of sex okay sub article 3 nothing in this article shall prevent the state from making any special provisions for the protection of women and children article 25a amended article right to education the state shall provide free and compulsory education to all children of the age of 5 to 16 years in such manner as may be determined by the law article 26 non discrimination in respect of access to public place 26 sub article 1 in respect of access to places of public in- entertainment or resort not intended for religious purpose only there shall be no discrimination against any citizen on the ground only of race religion caste sex residence or place of birth sub article 2 nothing in class 1 shall prevent the state from making any special provision for women and children Article twenty-seven: Safeguard against discrimination in services. Subart Subartical one: No citizen otherwise qualified or appointment in the service of Pakistan shall be discriminated against in respect of any such appointment on the ground only of race, religion, caste, sex, residence, or place of birth, provided. 
देर फॉर पीरियड नॉट एक्सीडिंग फोर्टी ईयर्स फ्रॉम द कमिंग डे पोस्ट मे बी रिजर्व फॉर पर्सन बिलोंगिंग टू एनी क्लास और एरिया टू सिक्योर देयर एडिकुएट रिप्रेजेंटेशन इन द सर्विस ऑफ पाकिस्तान ऑल्सो देयर इज प्रोवाइडिंग फर्दर दैट इन द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द सेट सर्विस स्पेसिफाइड पोस्ट और सर्विस मे बी रिजर्व फॉर मेंबर ऑफ आइदर सेक्स इफ सच पोस्ट Our services entail the uh, performance of duties and functions which can not be adequately performed by members of the other sex, provided furthermore, also that under representation of any class or area in the service of Pakistan may be redressed in such manner as may be determined by an act of Majlis-e Shura. Majlis-e Shura is Parliament. Sub Article Two. Nothing in Clause One shall prevent any provincial government or any local or other authority in a province from prescribing in relation to any post or class of service under the government or authority condition is to residents in the province for a period not exceeding three years prior to appointment under the government or authority. आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी एट फंडामेंटल आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी एट विच इज द लास्ट आर्टिकल ऑफ फंडामेंटल राइट ट्वेंटी एट प्रेजेंट वेट प्रेजेंट प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ लैंग्वेज स्क्रिप्ट एंड कल्चर सब्जेक्ट टू आर्टिकल टू फिफ्टी वन एनी सेक्शन ऑफ सिटीजन हैविंग अ डिस्टिंक्ट लैंग्वेज स्क्रिप्ट और कल्चर शेल हैव द राइट टू प्रिजर्व एंड प्रमोट द सेम एंड सब्जेक्ट टू लॉ इस्टेब्लिश इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर द purpose so this is enough uh, fundamental right has been completed hope so uh, it was easy also and uh, uh, it is uh, written in the book of constitution of pakistan 1973 i uh, deliver uh, all the uh, all the things uh, about the fundamental rights uh, from the constitution of pakistan 1973 book uh, which is totally authentic these are not my own words uh, which is present in the uh, book of constitution of pakistan 1973 i deliver so so hope so you love it you like it you watch it and i finally uh, submitted my thanks uh, thanks giving to you all viewers for watching my video thank you so much and now just wait for an other articles uh, after 28 uh, there are uh, chapter 2 and uh, 29 article i further i discussed about this uh, authentic knowledge i will provide you and hope so uh, hope so hope so you listen it and you uh, learn it and thank you so much thank you